Hi ladies and gentlemen, Sammy here today. I'd like to bring you the review of E Handheld Game Boy 2 or E Action Game Boy, whatever it suits you. And I got this prototype a few months ago and I have been using it since then. And I posted a shit ton of videos then. And you can check out on my Sammy Law channel. This prototype, the only difference between the official ways, this doesn't have a uh, e logo. First of all, I'd like to give you a tour of this Game Boy and then. I will show you how to use it and also the video comparison. I will even compare it to the Zuin Crane Gimbal. That's crazy, right? But let's get started. Okay, so <clears throat> so this is the gimbal. This is 3X. This is the pan motor. This is the roll motor. And this is the tilt motor mounting screw and this is a securing bracket move down and you can see there is a USB port here and it's not only for update the firmware but also for charging and suggest you using the power adapter to charge it because if you're using the PC it would be too slow and the output of the charge should be 5 voltage to ampere this is the joystick and this is the mode uh, button and this is the power key now press for three seconds and you will turn on but we don't suggest you turn on without the camera on the gimbal and this is the shoot key double press a switch between the photo and the video mode a quarter inch thread that's good. You can mount it somewhere. Anyways, let's uh, just uh, insert the camera. So what I'm using is the E4 Plus. You just screw, screw a little bit so you can have enough space to insert the camera. Do, 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 do. And you gotta make sure it touches this tilt motor. All right. And then you screw tight. You gotta make sure screw really, really tight. Okay, I think it's really tight. And then you long press three seconds. And then, da 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 da, it's on now. And the default mode is pan mode. I will introduce four different modes. So, the default mode, as I said, is, is the pan mode. Tilt and the roll locked. Uh, pan X follows the movement of the gimbal. And then you press once, and you enter lock mode. All access are locked, you see? All access are locked. It won't, it's, it's like you have a stiff leg. Press once again, then it will be the blue light. And this is the pan and tilt mode. A uh, roll axis locked, uh, tilt, and pan axis follow the movement of the gimbal. And the last mode is selfie mode. What is selfie mode is you uh, double press and then it will do, 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 do. Yeah, 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 yeah. That is the <coughs> selfie mode, okay? You double press to exit the selfie mode. So next step, I'm going to show you how to connect the e action cam gimbal to e action cameras. So first of all, power on the e action gimbal and then turn on e action camera. Okay. And then you can by going to settings find the uh, Bluetooth pairing remote control or swapping down to turn on the Bluetooth pairing. And then, because I paired before, so I didn't even press any keys, just paired automatically. But if for the first time, press any key on your gimbal, then your pairing will be successful, okay? And then you just press this shoot button, then it's working, that simple. And you can press the shooting button again to stop it. So you can double press this shoot button and it will switch from the video mode to the picture mode or vice versa. Okay, double press. Now it's the photo mode. 
I'm gonna take a selfie. That's video mode. Hello guys, so I'm gonna uh, show you a couple of video samples and please enjoy. Ta -ta -ta -ta. Kinda healthy. December 31st Two thousand eighteen 